Our okay. next guest is in town for a big cybersecurity summit. He is the vice president of threat intelligence at IBM Security. His name is Caleb Barlow. He's on the set with me here. <laughs> All right, Caleb, now I've got a chance to go at you. Absolutely. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> Look, we sit here day after day reporting on data breaches. I assume that virtually every one of our audience has had all of their personal information stolen and it's somewhere around the globe. I got no downside from this. Nothing's happened to me or my money yet. Is it going to? Well, the thing you have to keep in mind is that cybercrime is a $445 billion industry. That makes it larger than the GDP of many nations, like let's say Portugal as an example, right? And this only continues to grow. And what we found is one of the biggest challenges is when the inevitable occurs, right? We all see these What's breaches. What's the inevitable? The inevitable is a company experiences a devastating breach. Okay, and when that breach occurs, not only do you potentially see a data loss, but you also start to see a damaged reputation of the company. And in many cases, even in case of automated hedge funds, start trading on that stock. So you now have not only a security crisis, you have a potential financial crisis. And what we set okay. forward to do is chain, train boards and executives how to deal with that crisis. Okay, now you're dealing at the company level. People like Facebook and some of the, and, 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 and the others who have lost uh, information, they're not liable. Nothing happens to them. They promise to fix it. Nothing happens because nothing happens to them. Well, I don't know if I'd agree with that, right? So, you know, you have to look at it from this perspective. When we start to lose your data, whether that might be your health care data, that might be your financial records, uh, that might be information about you, where you travel, your GPS right. location, things like that. That data can be correlated and used by organized crime in a variety of different ways. It can be used for extortion. It can be used for ransomware. Uh, it can be used for fraud. So, you know, I, I would challenge you on the notion that this doesn't have an impact. In fact, it has quite a devastating impact. And not only do you see that potentially personally if, for example, your identity was stolen, but you're also going to see that in the cost of goods and services that you go to buy. We are told that China and or Russia meddling in the forthcoming elections. That's got to do with cybersecurity. What do you know about this? Well, I, I think when we talk about cybersecurity in general, what we have to realize is that most of what we've been talking about to date is exactly what you're referring to, data exfiltration, right? Bad guy breaks into a system, gets access to data, downloads that for money, profit, or influence. But what we're starting to worry about now is bad guy breaks into a system and changes data, okay? Now, of course, you know, popular in the news right now is, oh, could they go in and manipulate an election? Maybe, but that would be really hard to manipulate something like a voting machine. Got it. I think a much more likely scenario is let's talk about what happens when a bad guy breaks into a financial record, a supply chain, and starts to manipulate that. Because right. now what happens is not only have we lost data, but we've broken trust in that system. Mm -hmm. And so what we have to think about as corporate executives, regardless of where you're working, is how do I plan for that worst day? How do I make sure my team is ready? My team is on the ready. We have the plans built. We understand what could happen. And our response is muscle memory, so that that response happens quickly. You know, it, it's much like, you know, if someone dropped on the floor in front of you having, let's say, a heart attack, now is not the time to learn CPR, right? That's the worst day in that person's life. Yeah. Well, at the same time, if your company is experiencing a devastating breach, that's your worst day. And we need to train you and make sure you're ready to respond. And that's not the time to put the book, pull the book off the shelf. A very good selling job there, Caleb Barlow from IBM Security. That was good. That was very good. <laughs> well, you know, what you we're trying to do here uh, is we're yeah. going out and we're educating. And, you know, what we're here with in New York today is a cybersecurity range that we put on the back of a semi-truck. So this it. travels around the world. And this gives executives the opportunity to now understand what it's going to be like on that worst day, learn those skills, much like you learned CPR. Okay. and be able to respond with muscle memory. Very interesting idea. Yeah. Caleb, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Much obliged to you. Went fast, didn't it? Three mm. minutes, just like mm. that. Bang. Three minutes is always fast. Fast is three minutes <laughs> in your life, right? Okay, right.